All right, guys. <laughs> this video's getting taken down. I can't even say the title for the first seven seconds. Are you past seven seconds? We got Josh Wolf. Dick picks. D. Symbol, symbol, symbol picks. Uh, throw Josh Wolf a like. Go subscribe. This dude is hilarious, man. I've loved everything he's done so far. Um, you guys keep telling me a one through four thing. I don't know what that means. Keep in mind, I I'm just learning about who Josh Wolf is now. So do me a favor. Keep subscribing. I see you guys subscribing and commenting, asking for more. Keep on doing so. I'll get to it right away. But right now, we got dick pics. The last thing I want to look at. But I want to see his take on it. Because, like, you got to understand, from my point of view, I get... It's, it, I feel bad, dude. Like, a lot of people will reach out to me, and s some will be women, some will be men, but mostly women, and they'll be like, what do I do about a guy sending me dick pics? And I'm like, don't talk to that guy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's not right. You shouldn't just be, I don't know. Gentlemen, take it easy before you start sending stuff over. That's my take on it. Just make sure it's mutual. Have a relationship first. Let's jump into this. I love you. Have a wonderful week. This is how I start off my reaction day, Jesus Christ. My son's one of his greatest ones, right? I got an iPad for a gift, and I didn't know how to set it up, so I gave it to him. And I go, man, will you set this up for me? I don't know how to do it. He goes, yeah. And he brings it back later, and he goes, here you go, Dad. All set up, just so you know, your iPad is the cloud. Everything from everybody's devices goes to your iPad. Everybody hearing that? <laughs> Everything from everybody's devices. That cloud is dangerous, dude. It's about to start storming, you know? <laughs> Rushing in there. My iPad. So I'm scrolling through pictures on the road, seeing what I want to post, you know, looking through, looking through, looking through. And uh, as a man, when you're sitting on your own bed, looking at your own iPad, looking at your pictures, you never want this sentence to leave your mouth. I stop on a picture and I go, well, that's not my dick. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought somebody was sending my wife dick pics, and I had that one beat, so I wasn't oh. even going to say anything to her, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was going to be like, keep looking at that skinny dick, babe. I feel pretty good about myself. It's not going to be as funny when I come out of the shower doing the helicopter tomorrow, is it? Is it? <laughs> but then I recognized the IKEA desk that I had built for my son behind the dick, and I was like, oh my god, I built that desk and that dick! <laughs> He's sending people dick pics. <laughs> so I go down into his room. I'm like, hey, man. He goes, yeah. I'm sorry. I built the Ikea desk and I built that. I built that dick. Dick pics. <laughs> so I go down into his room. I'm like, hey, man. He goes, yeah. I go, um, you want to explain to me again how the cloud works? And he was like, oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, we'll see. I said, break it down for me real slow if you can. He goes, okay, Dad. You take a picture on your phone and it goes to the iPad. I'm like, what else? He was like, Mom takes a picture on her phone and it goes to the iPad. I'm like, what else? He was like, I take a picture on my phone and oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery. He said, oh no. <laughs> hey, can I see that iPad? And I said, no, no, not yet. He goes, oh, okay. It's Today, not great. Right now, I'm having a... It's, it's already been seen, dude. This is one good thing about not having to grow up with a, with a dad in the house. There's never any weird situations like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's your day oh. going? Oh. And he goes, oh, okay. And I said, no, no, not yet. He goes, oh, okay. And then he goes, so... How's your day going? I said, earlier today, not great. Right now, I'm having the fucking time of my life! <laughs> Why am I clapping like I'm there? Well, that's good, Dad, because you know when you're in a good mood, we're all in a good mood, so... And then he said something that did make me laugh. He, looked, he goes... Well, 
Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> he, tried, he was sleeping at McDonald's. So thanks for pulling up. Thanks for shopping at Walmart. I had to pull the Jedi mind trick on me or some shit. These are not the dick pics you are looking for. Oh. <laughs> so I go, no, I think I'm gonna stick around for a little bit. And he goes, oh, okay. What a treat. Oh. And he said, so... Did, did you have a question you wanted to ask me? And I said, did you have a question you wanted to ask me? And he goes, oh, sure, I'll, I'll go first. Oh, uh, and I was girlfriend's name's Ashley, right? And he goes, oh, uh, poor are there, Ashley. Are there any pictures of Ashley's boobs on there? And I go, Jacob, are there pictures of a naked underage girl on my iPad? And he goes, well, not if you didn't see him, there aren't, no. I go, no, dude, it's this. And he goes, well, that's just my dick. I go, I know what it is, man. And he said, I'm so glad you saw that. What do you think about that angle? I go, no, no, no. <laughs> We're close. We're not checking each other's dick pics close. Like, that's not what's going down. And I finally had to tell him. Finally had to tell him, look, don't send dick pics. The penis does not photograph well. I told him, nobody has ever looked at a picture of a dick and been like, I love this picture. <laughs> And I told him, I go, I think I, I know how you think women react when they get a picture of your dick. It's how you react when you get a boob on their phone. When a teenage boy gets a boob on his phone, they lose their mind. There have been a couple times when I've just heard this from the living room. Yes! <laughs> they, they're like, yeah, titty, 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 They do the titty dance, the whole thing. Dude, when I was a kid, I didn't have that luxury. Like, by the time I was getting out of high school, we had, like, flip phones that were turning into sidekicks granted you know i might have recorded some videos on a flip phone but let's not talk about that why let's not talk about that that is not how you women react when you get a picture of a dick right just so you know when a not of myself all right <laughs> that sounded so wrong woman gets a dick pic she goes like this <laughs> followed by this stacy look <laughs> Because she has showed your dick to everybody. And tomorrow it's going to be on Snapchat with dog ears. Come to my party. Like, you don't want that shit. I didn't think of that. Oh, that was it. That was funny. Oh, I'm... Go subscribe. Go like, go subscribe to Josh Wolfman. I was going to say, him and his son have a pretty dope relationship, but... <laughs> Not the angle relationship. You can't be asking us that the correct angle. And he's right. That's why I said in the beginning, like, gentlemen, refrain from sending dick. I can't tell you how many times, like, women have t came and talked to me about guys sending them dick pics. I have a lot of friends that are women, too, strictly friends. And they're like, I don't understand the concept behind, like, the dick pics. Like, it doesn't make, it'll be like a normal conversation. And all of a sudden, like, you look at your phone and there's a dick pic. And they're just like, where did the, where in this conversation did you feel like you could send me a dick pic? It makes no sense. Oh, man, unless it's mutual. Unless she's asking, don't ever send any gentleman watching just for for future instances, future situations. And it's online forever now. Like he said, these days they're going to fucking take it and then they're going to put like bunny ears on it and say, <laughs> it's in my party. Oh, yeah. Like I said, man, when I was a kid, we didn't have that shit. Like, I think, I think my generation had the best of both worlds because we, right as I was turning 18, like we, we had sidekicks, like sidekicks just came out. So like you couldn't really do anything. It was like Blackberries and Sidekicks and then flip phones. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't, I think I was only in like my, maybe like my early 20s when the first iPhone came out, maybe. I'm old as shit. Damn, dude. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm going to keep, I'm going to stop talking about my age, man. I'm only 28. <laughs> Dude, I went to go, so, so a friend of mine had me pick up, this is so random, I'm just going to tell you the story anyway. A friend of mine had me, I, he wanted me to stop by, he had some anxiety shit going on. I don't support this habit, but he he needed a pack of cigarettes, so can you pick him up on the way? And I was like, yeah, surely. I 
I was just going to go sit there and talk to him. I was, I had to go work anyway. I had like an hour to spare before work. So, and he was on my way. And uh, I sat there with him. I picked up the cigarettes. And as I'm picking up the cigarettes, the guy behind the counter had to have been younger than me. I mean, he had to have been. He's a little bit shorter, a little bit, I won't say stocky, or I'm pretty fucking stocky, but, uh, you know, bald headed. He had like the bow. Go- he looks like he's probably like late 30s going into like maybe his mid 40s. I can't tell. You know, there's a weird age for men where you can't tell if they're like 25 or they're 50. Just depends on the right light angle. You ever seen that before? That's how this guy was. And he goes, he like look. He like, I'm like, yeah, Newport Light shorts, and I haven't bought cigarettes in almost at least over a decade. I don't smoke. I smoke cigarettes for 15 years, and I quit. And uh, he grabs them, and he turns around, and he looks at me, and I look at him. And he like looks down at the cigarettes, and then he looks at me, and he was like, "Are you gonna give me an ID?" And I'm like, "Are you joking me?" Like, I, I had, like, a full beard at this point. My beard, like, needed to be shaved down. I'm like, are you joking me? Like, you can, like, see the tattoos all over me, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm covered in tattoos from head to toe. And uh, he was like, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I don't know how old you are. And I was like, are you just asking because you need to... Uh, you need to do it for store purposes, like just in case, you know, you get in trouble or is it because like you really think I'm 18 years old? He goes, a mix of both. And I was like, I like you a lot, man. <laughs> My new best friend. But uh, yeah, I was like, holy shit. Like that, that was fucking weird, man. I need to go buy cigarettes there all the time just to boost my self-confidence. <laughs> But anyways, my friend was okay, by the way. I just sat with him and talked for a little bit. Army vet, you know, army vet. A lot of my friends are army veterans, and they have a lot of panic attacks and PTSD. And I don't want to put his business out there. But, yeah, just need someone to talk to every once in a while. When people – this is totally off base, but one of the biggest things people ask me, like even on Instagram, is like, what's the best thing to do for somebody with anxiety? Like, how could you help them? I say just listen to them. Don't tell them, like, hey, like – Everything's going to be okay. Take a deep breath. Like, just listen to them. Let them vent. What's happening is it's adrenaline rushes over and over and over again. And you just need to sit there and just let them get the, get it out of their system. And then if they ask you questions, ask them, but keep it short and sweet. Don't make it about you and just let it burn out because their adrenaline's pumping. And as soon as they the adrenaline stops, they start to calm down. You'll see, you'll notice them start yawning a bit. And then you can see like their body starts like letting go. I've been dealing with this my entire life. So just... In case any of your friends deal with anxiety, um, a little, a few tips right there, especially if they, you know, uh, were Marines or were veterans in general. We got to do more for our veterans. Anyways, I'm getting away from our entire topic. Dick pics from Joshua. Throw him a like. Go subscribe. That's funny. Yeah, the cloud is fucked up like that, dude. The cloud will all of a sudden find a picture of mine that I like. I thought I deleted in like 2017, and it just pops up one day when I'm like uploading content. I'm like. Where the fuck did this photo come from? I deleted this a long time ago. This freaks me out, man. I don't trust the cloud. I don't trust that cloud at all. Fuck that cloud. I love you guys. Stay safe. If you want more Josh Wolf, do me a favor. Subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you want me to see next. I'll get to it right away for you. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Um, Anybody here dealing with anxiety, depression, panic attacks, PTSD, addiction, a bad breakup, whatever the case may be, a bad dick pic, or just a dick pic in general, you're suffering. I can't help you. You're fucked. I'm just kidding. Reach out to me. I'll do what I can to help you out. Uh, I can't erase that dick pic from your memory, though. That That's there for life. <laughs> that's there for life. Uh, no, but reach out if you need me. I'm no doctor. I, I can't solve all your problems, but I'd be more than happy to talk to you if you need someone to talk to. Um, if you're uncomfortable reaching out to me personally, you're more than welcome to join my Discord. It's free. Amazing community. Everyone's got your back. I mean, I, I have psychologists and psychiatrists in there, not on the clock that are like trying to guide people in the right directions. They're always in there checking in and stuff like that. It's it's so dope what you guys have created. And I'm not even in there. I, I drop in there to say what's up and ch- check on everybody and randomly just give people shit. I just crack jokes and stuff. But great place to go network and meet people. Everyone's become friends and looks out for one another and follow my live feed. So when I go live, everyone comes together and chats while like, I game or I talk with you guys and stuff, which is every Wednesday, Friday or Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Um, I'm also over on Patreon. Don't forget to sign up over there. If you want to do paid for donations, I also do exclusive content. Uh, it's pretty cheap to sign up. I want to change the prices, but they won't let me fucking change the prices. I want to bring them down a little bit because somebody, the person who created them made my prices a bit too high and I'm, I'm not a fan of it. And people signed up for like the highest tier and I'm like, dude, 
Like it's way too much money and I'm not even putting out my podcast material yet, which is going to be in like two or three months. So I'd love to see you over there. I love you. Stay safe. Thanks for watching with me, Josh Wolf. You're a mad man, but I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool to have a relationship with your kids like that. I hope one day if I ever have kids that I have a relationship like that. Why is my face so red? <laughs> I'm just lifting my ass off. I love you guys. Peace.